In the north of France, in the city of Nantes, there is a unique art installation known as the Giant Mechanical Elephant. This enormous robot was created by the team Les Machines and is a mobile sculpture standing 12 meters tall and weighing 48 tons, made of steel and wood. It can carry up to 50 passengers and move around the area, providing a unique opportunity to see the mechanism and the workings of the robot from the inside. The elephant is equipped with 62 cylinders, allowing it to move at speeds ranging from 1 to 3 kilometers per hour. Its movements are controlled by a team of operators who also explain the process of its creation and operation during the tour. A unique feature of this robot is that it can produce sounds and even spray water from its trunk, adding to its realism and interactivity. This robot is rightfully considered one of the largest in the world. Here is another giant mechanical construction known as the Robot Spider Kumo. This robot was also created by the French company La Machine and boasts impressive dimensions. It weighs around 40 tons and has a leg span of up to 20 meters. A team of 16 people is required to operate the robot, coordinating its movements through a complex system of hydraulics and mechanics. Kumo is equipped with eight legs, each capable of moving independently, allowing the robot to move smoothly through urban environments. It can also spray water from special nozzles, adding an element of interactivity and spectacle. During performances, Kumo often interacts with other robotic giants, turning the show into an epic display of theater and engineering artistry. This robot is part of street performances that take place in various cities, including Beijing and Ottawa, attracting large audiences and creating an unforgettable show. But undoubtedly the largest humanoid robot in the world is the Japanese 18-meter robot called Gundam. The world first saw the robot in the Japanese city of Yokohama, where testing of the Gundam robot took place. The invention is a character from the classic anime series Mobile Suit Gundam, which aired in the late 1970s. The robot weighs 24 tons and consists of 200 parts. Work on creating the giant took nearly six years. The invention can now squat, kneel, and move its arms. The robot moves thanks to remote control, which includes the use of the robot operating system. The project was created for the entertainment center Gundam Factory Yokohama located south of Tokyo. This robot represents the pinnacle of Japanese engineering mastery and has truly earned the title of the largest humanoid robot in the world. Here is another giant Japanese robot called Super Godzilla, created by the Japanese company Taguchi Industrial. This robot attracts attention with its enormous size and unusual design. Super Godzilla resembles a giant excavator or construction manipulator. It is equipped with powerful hydraulic systems that allow it to move its manipulators. The main goal of creating Super Godzilla is to showcase Taguchi's capabilities in heavy machinery and robotic technologies. It is used at exhibitions, promotional events, and shows to draw attention to the brand and its technologies. Another giant mechanical robot called Long Ma was created by the French theater company La Machine. This impressive robot was designed for performances and parades, showcasing outstanding engineering and artistic design. It was first presented to the public in Nantes, France. Long Ma is a hybrid of a dragon and a horse, making it unique and visually captivating. The robot is about 12 meters long, 5 meters tall, and weighs around 45 tons. The robot is capable of walking, flapping its wings, opening and closing its mouth and moving its eyes and ears. It can also spew smoke and fire from its mouth, mimicking a dragon's breath, achieved through built-in flamethrowers and smoke machines. Controlling Long Ma requires a team of operators both inside and outside the machine. Long Ma is not only a technical marvel, but also a work of art that inspires awe and wonder. It is a vivid example of how mechanics and art can come together to create unique and unforgettable spectacles. The 60-year-old Japanese inventor Hitoshi Takahashi single-handedly built the giant functional robot Kabutom RX-03, which looks like a stag beetle. 
It stands 11 meters tall, is 3.6 meters long and weighs 17 tons, featuring a range of functions such as the ability to walk on six legs and emit steam from its head. However, the legs are mainly for show, as wheels underneath actually support the RX-03. This behemoth is not designed for travel, as its top speed is 4.5 miles per hour. To power the massive machine, the RX-03 is equipped with two diesel internal combustion engines and can be controlled either from a cockpit or remotely with a control panel. During public performances, the RX-03 can carry up to seven passengers for a fee of $2. The robot is not capable of autonomous piloting, so there is no chance of it going out of control or acting independently. Another giant manned humanoid robot named Method 2 is the brainchild of the South Korean company Hankook Mirai Technology and designer Vitaly Bulgarov, who helped develop a bipedal robot for Boston Dynamics and special effects in the Transformers films. Each arm weighs 130 kilograms. About 30 engineers worked on its creation. With a pilot, only the robot's arms can be controlled. Full control of the robot is possible thanks to an engineer who operates it from a separate room. The robot is estimated to cost around $100 million. The developers say that Method 2 is intended to help work in dangerous conditions where humans cannot be present without protection. In the future, similar robots could be used in manufacturing, loading and unloading, and military operations. Japanese engineer Masaki Nagumo created the second largest manned humanoid robot in the world, weighing about 7 tons and standing 8.5 meters tall. It is named Landwalker Mononofu and was assembled at the Sakakibara Kikai Company plant near the village of Shinto in Gunma Prefecture. The giant's maximum speed does not exceed 1 km per hour or 25 centimeters per second. However, it can rotate its torso, move manipulators, and shoot soft balls from an air cannon located in its right hand. The initial firing speed of the cannon is 38 meters per second, but its aiming accuracy is extremely low. The pilot's cabin is equipped with four small screens and two suspended control levers with 5 degrees of freedom. To get inside, Nagumo uses a built-in winch elevator. The Tokyo startup Tsubami Industries has unveiled Arkex, a battery-powered transforming robot standing 4.5 meters tall inspired by the anime franchise Gundam. The robot can be controlled using two joysticks, three large monitors, and various pedals inside the cockpit and it has a total of 26 cameras for navigation. Arkex can drive, walk, move its manipulators and take various poses. Additionally, it has a rotating head that functions as an observation module. The robot is equipped with functional arms with jointed fingers, which the pilot can use to lift objects weighing up to 15 kilograms. One of the most impressive features of the robot is its ability to move both in a vertical position and in car mode. In the latter, the robot lowers closer to the ground and can move at a speed of about 10 km per hour. Japanese engineers have created another giant robot called Karatus. This unique robot was developed by the company Suitabashi Heavy Industry and was first unveiled to the public at the Wonder Festival in Japan. Karatus is a 4-meter tall humanoid robot that weighs about 4.5 tons. It can move on wheels, reaching speeds of up to 10 km per hour, and can also perform various arm and finger movements. Thanks to its motion control system, the operator can make Karatas perform various actions, such as lifting and moving objects. Karatas is also equipped with various combat systems, which are more demonstrative than functional for actual combat. For example, the robot can fire BB pellets from a pneumatic machine gun mounted on its arm. This machine gun can shoot up to 6,000 pellets per minute. Write in the comments which of the robots shown in this video did you like the most. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave a like. See you next time.